Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Bora here. We are now this 11th game for today, April 4, 2023. This is Los Angeles Lakers uh, visiting Utah Jazz. That'll happen at around 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Bora. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. The spread, by the way, is a minus 8.5, and that's actually given towards the visiting team, that is Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, for us to continue, let's go ahead and check on the standings and the rankings first of these two teams. Both belong to the Western Conference, by the way. Starting off with Los Angeles Lakers, they are at number 7 with the record of 40 wins and 38 losses. By the way, they are just half a game behind the number 6 team right now, which is Golden State Warriors. So I'm pretty sure that Los Angeles Lakers would want to um, you know, grab as many wins as possible towards the end of the season. And who knows, maybe they can actually go straight to number 6. Now for Utah Jazz, they are currently at number 12 in the West with the record of 36 wins and 42 losses. Um, not uh, all is not lost because uh, they are just one and a half games behind the number ten team, which is OKC Thunder. So if Utah Jazz can actually uh, uh win the remaining games that they have, and if OKC Thunder can actually uh, lose here, here and there, who knows? Utah Jazz may have a chance. All right. So on this game, Utah Jazz would have the home court advantage. Um, fat fatigue wise we can skip that part because again all teams uh, were arrested uh, were resting up last night because of that NCAA finals uh, in terms of um, momentum we got to give it to Los Angeles Lakers man because approaching this game they are on a three game winning streak unlike Utah Jazz wherein they are actually on back to back losses in terms of their forms Los Angeles Lakers man they are looking sharp winning 7 out of their last 10 while Utah Jazz Winning just three games out of their last ten, mainly because of their um uh, injury problems. All right, so let's take a look at uh, the available available players and the health of both teams. For Los Angeles Lakers, Mo Bamba is confirmed out for this game, and we have uh, D'Angelo Russell, Anthony Davis listed as probable, and we have LeBron James and Scottie Pippen Jr. listed as questionable for this game so one is out a couple of players listed as probable a couple of players listed as questionable that's for Los Angeles Lakers now for Utah Jazz wow three players are already confirmed out that's Jordan Clarkson Rudy Gay and Walker Kessler um, for uh, these two players who are listed as questionable they would be Laurie Markinen and Colin Sexton this is a tough, tough uh, fight for Utah Jazz. Um, and again, this is mainly because of the injury problems that they had. What you know, what the wrong timing they had these injuries, and that was towards the end of the season. Um, I know uh, Los Angeles Lakers also have their own uh, injury problems, but theirs is a bit, you know, a bit more manageable. And again, right now they are at number seven. I'm pretty sure that they would want to win this one so that they can go ahead and uh, move forward to number possibly to number six while well, Utah Jazz although they are still you know they are still mathematically possible uh, to make it to number 10 um, with the way they've been playing lately you know with the form that they have uh, just like what I said uh, they they lost back to back they've only won three times out of their last 10 they don't have Clarkson um, had highly likely Sexton would not be playing it's, it's going to be very, very tough for them to go up against this um, pumped up and energized Los Angeles Lakers squad. My pick on this one would be Los Angeles Lakers minus 8.5. I'm not going to be surprised if this one would turn out into a double-digit win by the Lakers. Again, that's Lakers minus 8.5. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.